Yeah. Salute. Sipper shooters. What day is it? Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. Weekly whiskey welcome. Yeah. Liquor on the Rock. Find us on Instagram at Liquor on the Rock. YouTube. Uh, today we don't have. Well, I'll, I'll rephrase this. I have no idea what's going on today. Uh, I know that we're doing Taiwanese yeah, whiskeys. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I know nothing about them. I know that they're delicious. I know that they're not cheap. Uh, and I know that if you see them, you should buy them. So, what are, what are we doing here? We have got Cavallon. Cavallon is uh, one of a couple of more well known whiskey producers coming out of places other than Scotland and the United States, so in Japan, so other on the world. Uh, Rancor out of India, which I've yet to try. I do want to try that. But uh, Cavallon, uh, like I said, from Taiwan, they are doing just like in Japan, they are doing their scotch or their whiskeys in very traditional scotch ways uh, but uh, things get a little different there due to the fact that how much higher the temperature is in Taiwan than in Scotland uh, they're doing their aging up in the hills there's a lot more humidity and uh, you're getting with some of these whiskeys an age flavor that is higher than how actually old they are uh, Cavallon does produce some age statement whiskeys, uh, but most of their stuff is non-age statement just because it's coming from a bunch of different blends of single malts. And in the case we've got the Concert Master, which is the green one here. This is been aged in, started off in American, uh, used American bourbon, and then move to three different types of port, Tawny, Ruby, and some vintage ports from Portugal. And then once they kind of spent some time doing their thing, they blended them back together, get the flavor they like. And then finally, we've got the King Car. Now, King Car is the conglomerate that owns Cavallon. Uh, if you've ever been to an Asian food store, uh, you may have seen King Car like green teas and other packaged foods. So they make all sorts of things. Uh, the King Car was, is produced to kind of showcase the different flavors their distillery has been put out. It's all single malts. It's just blended all together. Uh, it did spend some time in some X uh, bourbon barrels, pretty much, and a little bit of sherry. But um, it's mostly just kind of like their statement to the world: "Hey, this is what we this is what we can do." So, or, sort of whatnot. Okay, so a good welcome. Yeah. And, and we we'll probably start with this one. Yeah. King Car is a little bit more um, special edition. They are, they're, you can still get it, but um, it's kind of like their welcome to the world sort of thing once they start getting going. So as you know, in Scotland, it's not hard and to find things that are 18, 20, 30 year old scotches and they're prohibitively expensive usually <laughs> but um, the reason they can get away with that really is that uh, not only are the barrels quite been used several times before so they're not imparting as much you know oak tartness or bitterness into it but how much colder it is in Scotland so as the temperatures change and the oak and the wood expands, it's doing it very slowly and not as much so that all the whiskey nuns kind of getting sucked into the wood and pushed back out in a much slower pace. Where here, you know, hot, hot summer days, just blowing in and out. And this can be a lot of fun. Uh, it means you can sometimes get the equivalency of a flavor that's older than, that tastes older than it is, but you all run the risk of sometimes some of those bitter notes coming out. So this is why the Scotch method of using older barrels kind of helps kind of cut down on the wood bitterness you'll sometimes get out of things that are aged too quickly or in small barrels. A lot of wood on this. Yeah, this is a 46%, uh, so it does have a little bit more of a, uh, alcohol on the nose, but... It's pretty, it's a pretty big nose too though, there's a lot mm -hmm. of kind of... I feel like the spice and, and yeah. floral stuff is. I on was the actually nose. about to say clove or. Yeah. That's good. Clove and like a little bit of cherry, so it's like you can tell that there's this bit of that sherry note. Like, spend some time in. 
and definitely woody. <laughs> yeah, it's a little fiery. It does have that oak on the aftertaste there. I'm still getting that kind of that sherry, little bit of like, like dark stew, sort of like fig or something that you get from yeah. sherry cast type stuff. It's got a pretty long finish. Yeah. You could probably try cutting this with a teeny bit of water just to see if it pulls out so many other flavors, but at 46%, I think it's a fair sipper on its own. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Nice color. Yeah. I think you should be able to find, let's see, when we pick this up, I want to say, because it was kind of, Kavalon just got off the heels of getting some awards at like the San Francisco spirits or wine and spirit uh, tasting uh, I think the King Car was clocking in at around into the 70s at the time yeah 80s maybe cool that's pretty nice yeah Next, do you know anything about the history of whiskey making in Taiwan? Have they not done it really. forever? Or no, I have honestly like... have not. <laughs> I'm a bad man and did not do a lot of research prior to this. Um, well, something good to think about because I wonder if they, you know, I wonder if they jumped into the game recently because of the success of Japan and. It's certainly possible India considering how much whis uh, like Japanese whiskey's taken off in the last few years. No. Oh. And uh, how common it is to find non-age statement whiskeys just because they're trying to keep up with production but still maintain the flavor profiles they want. And it, you know, with the, like I said, with the changing temperatures that you get and you can get some older flavors pretty quickly, it's a pretty good, pretty good market to get into. Uh, this is their concert master. Kavalan has a habit of naming their editions after orchestral themes and soloist things uh, conductor all that mm. uh, the concert master is a blend of three different ports so they split it off and then they brought it back in this is a 40% so it's gonna be not as fiery as far as alcohol content goes mm. definitely dark fruitcake sort of smell to it. You know, you can get that sweetness, you get some maltiness out of it, some bready. Bready, yeah. Thick. More more viscous for sure. Mm -hmm. Tell Which is surprising place. considering how lower the alcohol content is. Yeah. But it definitely... It's probably those oils yeah. from the port fruit. It coats your tongue a lot more than the King Car, but I will say that the finish disappears a little quicker. Yeah. I think it's because your mouth just cuts it back so much faster. It's nice. Definitely it's good little sweetness. It's an easy sipper. Definitely one. Um, I think with the Concert Master, you should be able to find this in the $60, $60 range. Okay. If I'm remembering correctly. Taiwan. Yeah. And is there other... Whiskeys to look out for from that? You know, honestly, I'm not 100% certain. Again, I was a bad man and did a poor amount of research for this video. Well, I just um, haven't really heard of any, like... Kavalon's the big name. Um, I've heard of a couple coming out of India. Yeah. There are some other ones, other smaller manufacturers out of Japan that, other than the Suntory and the Nika that everyone kind of sees out and about. Uh, UI is another one. Uh, but... There's a lot of people getting into the whiskey game now. It's incredibly popular. It's really blowing up, and uh, you know I'm all for it because that means more things I got to try. I get to try. So we, we got to get some Indian. I I feel like I dropped this tidbit a while ago, but India is the largest producer of whiskey in the world. Producer? Yeah. Really? You would think it would be Scotland, Ireland, America, all right. India. Well, uh, my buddy Case just sent me a picture. He was drinking on some Indian whiskey. Uh, Shout out Case, we should get him up here. Um, but he said it was—he said it was delicious. All right, we'll find it. Yeah, I'm up. I'll try anything once. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> All right. Cheers, Taiwan. Clink. <laughs>